Hello, good day everyone. How do we find the value of x from here? Well, this is actually simpler than you may think. This angle here and this angle are equal, or let's say congruent. Similarly, this and this b here are also congruent. Now, if you look at this triangle here, we have its angles to be x, a, and b. The summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we all know this. That is, if we subtract or remove a and b from 180 degree, we're going to be left with x. Similarly, if we subtract x from 180 degree, we're going to be left with a plus b. Now take a look at this triangle here. Let's say this angle here is y. So the sum of this y, these two a's and these b's here must be equal to 180 degree. That is, if you subtract a and b twice from 180 degree, we're going to have angle y. But y we can see here is an exterior angle of this triangle. And we know the rule that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. That is y equal to the sum of this 55 degree and this 15 degree. So y equal to 55 degree plus 15 degree. 55 degree plus 15 degree is 70 degree. So y equal to 70 degree. If you substitute into this equation here, 70 degree equal to 180 degree minus 2 open bracket a plus b. But we have from this equation here, 180 degree minus x equal to a plus b. So we can replace this a plus b with 180 degree minus x. Now 70 degree equal to 180 degree minus 2 open bracket 180 degree minus x. If we expand this bracket now, we're going to have minus 2 times 180 degree minus 2 times minus x minus 2 times 180 degree is minus 360 and minus 2 times minus x is plus 2x 180 degree minus 360 degree is minus 180 now we're going to collect the like terms by adding 180 degree to both sides here 70 degree plus 180 degree is 250 degree and here minus 180 plus 180 is 0 so 250 degree equal to 2x. To make x a subject, we divide both sides by 2. Now 250 degree over 2 equal to 2x over 2. 250 degree over 2 is 125 degree. And here 2 cancels 2. So 125 degree equal to x. And therefore, this angle x here is 125 degree. You can see how simple it was to find the size of angle x.